Spring-Heeled Jack is a figure from English folklore and urban legend, often depicted as a mysterious and frightening character. First reported in the 1830s, Spring-Heeled Jack was said to have extraordinary abilities, including the ability to leap great distances and heights, which allowed him to escape from pursuers easily. Key characteristics and reports about Spring-Heeled Jack include 1. Appearance. Descriptions varied, but he was often said to have a terrifying and demonic appearance. Witnesses reported seeing him with clawed hands, eyes like red balls of fire, and sometimes a metallic or mechanical suit. In some accounts, he wore a black cloak, helmet, and tight-fitting garments. 2. Behavior. He was known for his leaping ability, which allowed him to jump over high walls and rooftops. Spring-heeled Jack would often accost individuals, particularly women, by breathing blue flames or gas and causing physical harm or intense fright before leaping away. 3. Reports and Incidents. The first recorded sightings were in London in the early 1830s. One notable incident occurred in 1838 when a young woman named Jane also reported that a strange figure had attacked her, breathing blue flames in her face and scratching her with his claws. Numerous other sightings were reported in London and across England throughout the 19th century. 4. Theories Various theories have been proposed to explain the spring-heeled Jack phenomenon. Some believe he was a prankster, or a series of pranksters, using special equipment to enhance their jumping abilities. Others suggested more supernatural explanations, ranging from a demon to an extraterrestrial being. 5. Cultural Impact Spring-heeled Jack became a staple of Victorian penny dreadfuls and other sensational literature. His legend influenced the creation of later characters in popular culture, such as Batman and other vigilante heroes. Despite numerous sightings and accounts, the true identity of Spring-heeled Jack remains unknown, and he has become a part of English folklore, representing the fears and fascinations of the Victorian era. How's everyone doing? This is your boy, Lothadius Craig. Oh, Alright. First off, I want to apologize for having been gone for uh, so long, if you know what I mean. Uh, let's leave it at this. I had to uh, finally uh, get moved from where I was in that process. <laughs> it was a uh, profit. I'll leave it at that. Don't get me wrong. I'm grateful for the help that I had. Yeah, again, <laughs> it almost killed all of us, man. Moving or removing heavy stuff in Texas heat, it ain't no joke. Let's just leave it at that. Moving on. Now, what's this one going to be about? It is going to be about Spring Hill Jack, as you probably already heard in the, uh, intro part of this video. Now, this one is interesting to me. I'm not going to lie, I actually kind of enjoyed, uh, doing this more than, uh, many of the other ones I've done. Of course, you guys already know, this guy started appearing in Victorian uh, era England, if I remember correctly. Matter of fact, there's a lot of folklore and really some rich history around this guy. He also was uh, featured in a lot of what you would call, in uh, pretty dreadful, uh, I guess you call them mini novels of the time. There was, you know, of course, you know, some things you have to understand. During that time, there was kind of a people in some ways were a little more open than you'd think back then, even compared to now when it comes to the supernatural. And of course. That's a, another story from another day. I'm just going to say it this. People were fascinated, just like all of us human beings are, by the weird stuff. That's just how it is. Supposedly, you know, this guy, he was... He was usually described as a man, but dressed in, like, weird costume, even armor, jumping from building to building... And he seemed to uh, really enjoy scaring the hell, especially out of women and children, it seemed. Supposedly this guy could breathe fire, you know, he would wear... I'm just saying, he was crazy. Now, what do you think uh, Spring Hill Jack could be? I have no clue. But I'll tell you right now. Here's an interesting fact for you. I did a little bit of uh, looking up on this. Batman, you know, Batman, right? DC Comics. He actually was uh, based off of Spring-Heeled Jack when it comes to his appearance, even some of his abilities. I'm thinking that definitely Spring-Heeled Jack could have been something... I'm not going to say he was anything beyond human. It is possible. He may have been a demoniac of some sort, which is, of course, a demon-possessed individual. 
You have to understand, technology back then was a lot more bad than people think. Around that time, you know, let's leave it this, around that time, uh, the uh, development of uh, charcoal power engines and also steam was coming really to the forefront on things. Because that was around the time of, I want to say around the time of the Industrial Revolution. Now, don't quote me on that. It was definitely possible someone who may have been very smart and maybe a little bit deviant in their mind could have definitely come up with a contraption that allowed them, you know, maybe they could hide on their body that would allow them to appear like they were breathing fire or even augment their own uh, physical attributes, which would allow them to jump and, you know, even do some other crazy stuff. There was even uh, stories of people being assaulted by the Spring Hill Jack, supposedly. But like I said, it's very, very interesting, to say the least. I'm going to leave it at that. Like I said, this is a very interesting type of uh, urban legend, if you want to call it that. But I'm just saying, there were supposedly actual sightings of this guy. I'm thinking personally, there's probably more than one individual. Because you have to understand, with social media today, you have one person doing something gone awful. What happened? Us human beings have the mentality of monkey see, monkey do. So I'm just saying it's very possible that someone uh, could have seen something. And of course, maybe there was reading in the news or maybe one of those little novellas or whatever that was featuring the uh, character, if you want to call him that, of Spring Hill Jack. That was like, hey, why don't I try something like that out? And unfortunately, you have copycat behavior, like I said. So just putting that out there. It's definitely obvious that uh, this individual or individuals that was behind its behavior wasn't intending good for people. Like I said, uh, a couple of people were assaulted, and I think one person might have even, don't quote me on this, but in my reading, I think someone even died of a heart attack uh, because it was scared so badly. And believe me, uh, that, like I said, I'm thinking easily could have happened because you have people now... Even in this day and age, you know, YouTubers and stuff pulling quote-unquote pranks, which I think is a lot of bullshit. He's my French. Yes, I have a very low opinion of uh, individuals who do extreme pranks, and people get hurt from them. Believe it at that. So, I'm just saying, it could have been someone doing this stuff for lols, but one never knows. I'm just going to leave it at that. But leave it at this. Let's go ahead and uh, say this. I believe that Spring Hill Jack definitely was probably a person that was might be of the paranormal, but I kind of think this was more of the human kind of uh, mischief, if you know what I'm talking about. Might have had some paranormal health, but I'm thinking this was definitely something more ingenuitive of the mind and definitely some uh, not great intentions, if you know what I'm talking about. But either way, I love comic stock characters, in case you ain't guys, you know, you guys ain't noticed this. I love stuff like this, so therefore I wanted to kind of bring this up. He's not a cryptid, but hey, this is fun. And I wanted to kind of come back on my channel and put something out there that's not necessarily more lighthearted, but just, you know, scaring people to death, ain't it? At the same time, a little different. The next one's going to be about a cryptid. I ain't going to mention which one, but that one, this one definitely will be different than what you would expect. Leave it at that. This is a little different than my usual fare, the next one coming out. But either way, you guys know what I do. I produce for... Dark Waters Entertainment, if you've had your encounters with the cryptid, paranormal stuff. Or if you even have an invisible man sleeping in your bed. I'm joking on that one, of course. Give me a, a holler at wetvic at iamdarkwaters.com. You guys be blessed and you be safe.